Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going over space weather, an incredible look at the new James Webb shots, a pole shift scientist going next level on core physics, and three announcements at the end with the biggest saved for last. We're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that solar flares and eruptive activity are absent for the most part. Did have a couple filament snaps around the edges, but that was it. It's been a very calm several days while those bigger sunspots turn across the far side. The spots on the Earth facing half of the sun right now are considerably smaller. It's likely that solar flaring won't return until those major sunspots do in the coming days, but we're watching the development here anyway just in case one of them wakes up and chooses violence. Aesthetics next. A superstellar jet revealed by the infrared power of James Webb wowed us months ago and now it's gone next level and found a stellar jet eight times longer. Before James Webb, we had excellent visible and ultraviolet imagers, but the dusty infrared views of James Webb are so far beyond the previous IR tech, it is wild. And a gorgeous shot here. Up next, the top science article of the day is this. Looking into how we need to change the core physics of the Earth. Why? Because we know that pole shifts happen long cron events, and the rapid excursions like we're in right now. But that second one, not so easily modeled. Why do they happen, and why so often? Excellent theory here about wave patterns getting disrupted, kind of like how I imagine the galactic current sheet would be felt internally by a planet. First announcement, if anybody didn't get the physical copy of their book for pre-order, we do still show some are missing. Send us an email with the subject line, no book yet. By the way, the PDF copy is available right now. No shipping, no waiting, instant access to our textbook covering the sun, weather, earthquakes, health, and the disaster cycle. Also, folks, Dr. Dunning's two events at Observer Ranch next year are open for registration. We are breaking down the Micronova details and what we will experience here on Earth. Then, making sure we survive that long. Drive fast in class and experience for longevity. Link to those are below too, and folks, Third and finally, I am going on the Dark Horse podcast for the second time today with Brett Weinstein. But we're not talking about the sun or climate or the catastrophe cycle. You're not going to believe what's about to happen. Book PDF, Dr. Dunning's events, links below. Don't miss the Dark Horse podcast we record today, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.